PCH going up to the Murphy Automotive Museum, driving the Fiat 124, brand new, probably four or 500 miles on this car. I'm going up to this museum because I'm gonna take a look at another vintage trailer. I might even drive a classic Chevy truck. See how it goes, but David's always fun to hang out with and he's got amazing cars. And that's what we're doing today. Baker, Avanti. These guys are cleaning this car up because tomorrow is a Studebaker show, but by the time you watch it, it was probably yesterday. But it was really good, and we're gonna be going to it tomorrow. So the timing is all screwed up in this one. Doesn't really matter. It's all cool cars, all the time. So I'm up at the Murphy today to take a look at a very cool trailer, which is right over there. I'm not gonna say anything about it. I'm gonna let David mention what it is. But right now, he's got a car he's got to bring out for the Studebaker show tomorrow, which you just saw. I'm trying to start it. David Neal, Murphy Automotive Museum. Uh, this is the only way I can stand with you and we actually look the same height. <laughs> here Otherwise, it's fair Yeah, you. the depth of field is all wrong. <laughs> we're up at the Murphy because we're here to take a look at a vintage trailer, mm -hmm. a really cool one. What is it? We're looking at a 1960 Holiday House trailer. It's right over there. Uh, they made them only for a couple of years by the same people who do holiday uh, fruit baskets, uh, the Harry and David Fruit Company. I just ordered some stuff from them. Did you? Yeah. Did it taste like a trailer? No, and it didn't come with a trailer. <laughs> what a bummer. <laughs> all right. What is the fascination with these trailers? Uh, because they're all different. Yeah, yeah. So uh, there's just a big fascination for trailers from the 50s and 60s. And there are, within that genre, there are some that are just highly collectible because they're so rare. Right. And uh, what what's, what's more popular, the small ones or the big ones like what we're going to look at? Uh, well, this is still kind of smallish. Oh. Okay. Uh, the smaller ones are more popular because uh, they're easier to tow. Okay. And uh, they're just easier to store. Yeah. But what is nice about this trailer is it's it's very rare in its own right, but it's a mid-century design. We're going to go in there and take a look. I'm going to show you some uh, some mid-century themes that they're going to be pretty and cool. And what year and name is, is this? Uh, this is a 1960 Holiday House. Look at that couch. That is the coolest couch. So the couch folds out into a bed. Uh, I'm five foot eighteen, so when I sleep on this bed, my feet stick out, which you can imagine. Uh, but this is nice. There's a nice clock with a period correct uh, light. There's also a period correct light. I'll also tell you that I have a nice mid-century lamp and a Playboy <laughs> from 1960. Look at that. It actually works. It's a black and white. Uh, it actually works if we were to hook up to a cable. We have a converter. The uh, vintage trailer hobby is you can go on Etsy, you can go on eBay, and to help accessorize your trailer, you can find period correct uh, trailer accessories. This is a set of uh, Melmac dinnerware, original in the box. Wow, great stuff. There was a lady that was selling this stuff mm -hmm. at the last vintage trailer show. Yes, yes, so that's what she does now. She likes to sell uh, uh, accessories to go along with trailers. Mm -hmm. It must be easier for you to open right that thing my, up. Is my special <laughs> spot right here. go along with the 1950s, 1960s theme, this is um, dinnerware with this atomic pattern, and this pattern is called Blue Heaven. And I found this on uh, online and I bought the whole set. So I can set up uh, uh, with my dinner guests up here with a complete set of uh, Blue Heaven atomic dinnerware. The last weekend of June, right here at the museum, 
we're going to have uh, about 40 or 45 trailers are going to be out here in our parking lot plus the special visiting trailers we're going to have inside and it's uh, our biggest event all year is the vintage trader show that's how excited people get about vintage traders and then there's the builton show also and the builton show is uh September 24th up in Buellton. There'll be over 180 traders there. That's already full, but you can come it's see it. It's sold out, you can come see it. So the, one of the owners of Harry and David, he was a design enthusiast. And to keep the crews busy when they weren't picking fruit, they were building trailers. And because he was a design enthusiast, you can see some of these mid-century themes, like this uh, low flat right here, a lot of glass right here. It's, uh, it's very non-trailer-ish. Non very non-trailer-ish, which, uh, um, you know, kind of has problems when you're trailering. Yeah. You're in a trailer, but you're not in a trailer. It's it's not so aerodynamic yeah. either. So. Uh... So there's actually a Facebook page devoted to these trailers. Uh, Holiday House. You search it up on Facebook, yeah. and enthusiasts uh, uh, post pictures of their projects. And when they find one or they see one on Craigslist, they'll actually post it and they, they are gone like that. Wow. But a lot of times you have to actually dig them out of somebody's backyard <laughs> because they've been back there for generations. Most of them you will actually find on the West Coast. Uh, Washington, California, Oregon is a treasure trove of these traders because that's where they were built. We've got, I think, a dozen traders right now. And we, we at one time we've had as many as two or three holiday houses here during the trader show. Wow. Yeah. Look at these cups. <laughs> that is so cool. Incredible trailer, very cool. Some really cool cars, there's cool cars everywhere. But what we're gonna do now is, is there is a 1952 Chevy truck in the back. We're gonna be taking that for a spin around the block, but that car's gonna be coming to my pad next week. Okay, this is a 52 Chevy. And it was donated to the museum three years ago. We keep vehicles three years and then we sell them. Ah. So March 17th, this vehicle is going to be available for purchase. Uh, it's mechanically perfect, it's cosmetically perfect. It is a very, very sweet uh, 52 Chevy pickup. We're gonna take a quick ride. so big I could pretty much take all of you guys with me. Some fantastic time at the Murphy Museum. Spectacular cars. Love coming up here. Now I'm gonna jump in the Fiat, head back down. Once again, hanging out with David at the Murphy Automotive Museum. It's a fantastic place. It's not a normal museum. 
it's a place where you not only can hang out and do some fun stuff, but there's, there's cars for sale if you're so inclined. That Chevy truck, very cool. And once again, you know, David is the kind of guy that, that understands that the more he gives, the more that comes back to him. And that's really the law of life. That's really how we're all kind of working this thing as best we can. And he's a shining example. So I go up there, have a great time, get to drive all these cool cars and get to hang out and have fun. And the question is, where can you do that in your life? Where can you give? And I'm not talking about giving money away. I'm talking about giving your time, helping people, even giving out compliments. Anything you can give is going to bounce back to you and make your life better. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Why? Because this is Fireball Malibu Vlog. And our job is to help you improve your life through what you love. So get to it, people. We'll see you tomorrow.